now. Hello and welcome back to our 33 day preparation for consecration to Jesus through Joseph with the glories of St. Joseph. My name is Matthew Herman Tag. It has been my pleasure to be your host for this consecration. And uh, so we have another day today where we, we don't have a guest, which is fine. You know, our, a lot of our speakers and, and friends are very, very busy. Uh, but that's no problem because uh, that's what I committed to, that no matter what, uh, we would move forward with our prayers and readings, um, even if you're just stuck with me. So you're, you're going to get another chanted rosary today. So uh, go back and listen to the other days to, to hear about why I chant the rosary and, uh, and, and what happens to leading up to that. Uh, and I also gave you a little bit of my history as well. Uh, but today, what I thought we'd do is, since the uh, one of the main purposes of this consecration is prayer, that uh, we should talk about prayer for a little while. And many of our guests have talked about prayer and the importance of prayer. And yes, prayer is very important because it is that relationship with God. You know, it's like talking to our spouse. You know, we, we need to talk to our spouse in order to have a relationship with them. Uh, well, it's the same with God. God is our spouse. Jesus is our spouse. He is the bridegroom. We are the bride. And so it's very important that we foster a relationship with him. And we can do this through uh, many different spiritual practices, but probably the most important is prayer. And this is why the Catechism of the Catholic Church de uh, devotes one quarter of its teaching to prayer. And so I thought today we'd talk briefly about the hierarchy of prayer and the three stages of the interior life. Okay, so there are um, four levels to the hierarchy of prayer and uh, hierarchy simply means divine order. So when you hear the word hierarchy, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's, it's numbered, but sometimes it is. <laughs> and in this case, it is certainly numbered. So the hierarchy is also, appears as most important to least important but in saying that all right none of the state none of the the four um uh, levels on the hierarchy of prayer is unimportant all right it's simply that uh, that the higher levels you know have uh, a higher sort of purpose and importance so there are four levels. Uh, first and foremost, you can probably guess right at the top, all right, the uh, most important prayer that we have in the church is the holy sacrifice of the mass, all right? The entire mass is a prayer. In fact, it is a, a sung prayer, which a lot of parishes really need to be reminded of, you know, that uh, the mass is meant to be sung. And so on our solemnities, we should really be singing all the parts of the mass that we possibly can. Uh, there is an old adage that says, he who sings well prays twice. I'm not sure if I can offer you good singing today, but uh, hopefully I'll hit, you know, a few correct notes and I, you know, and I will pray twice for you. Uh, but in fact, that first level is actually not, not the sacrifice of the mass, but liturgy, liturgy. All right. And uh, liturgy is two Greek words um, uh, meaning uh, people work. All right. Ergon, meaning work, where we get the word ergonomics and uh, Laos uh, people, right? So liturgy, people work. Now in the modern church, the uh, this word has been kind of hijacked to mean that everyone needs a job to do at mass. You know, let's get as many readers up there, as many altar servers. Uh, let's have a greeting team. Let's, you know, let's have a thousand uh, extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion, okay? Um, no, no, no. All right, going all the way back to the first time that we heard full conscious and active participation. This was the primary concern of, of Vatican II, that we at the liturgy, right, are having full conscious active participation. And this phrase goes all the way back to um, Pope Pius X. And it's to do with an interior disposition. It's to do with the interior life and how the interior life relates to our prayer. <clears throat> so this highest level comes in the form of a part A and a part B. Part A being the holy sacrifice of the mass and part B being 
the liturgy of the hours. Remember, the Mass is Christ's mission, first and foremost, to glorify the Father, and second, to sanctify his people. And there is so much in the liturgy that, you know, half an hour to 60 minutes a day is not enough to contain it. And so the church in her wisdom, going all the way back to St. Benedict in the sixth century, um, has paused at seven or eight holy times of the day and prayed what has become known as the liturgy of the hours, the liturgy of the hours. And if you're very lucky, you may even get one of those hours today uh, chanted with some simple tones. All right, but we'll talk more about that later. So then uh, that's right at the top, liturgy, part A, part B. Next is something which also comes from St. Benedict called Lexio Divina. Now, liturgy is kind of a bottom-up prayer. We join our prayer and sacrifice to Christ the King, all right? Christ our head. We, the body, join with our head, all right, to offer praises to the Father, to glorify the Father, and to sanctify us through Christ. So it's a bottom-up prayer. Lexio Divina is now a top-down prayer. This is God's response to us. And it's, it means divine reading. And it's where we take a passage of scripture. Now we could choose the gospel of the day. Um, we could choose to, you know, <clears throat> over a period of time, uh, read, you know, right through a gospel or an epistle. We could even choose some of the writings of the saints. And we enter into a very prayerful way of reading and we slow down. And we read very, very slowly and carefully and prayerfully and reverently, you know, contemplating, you know, each and every word, each and every phrase, each and every scene. And what we're waiting for is for, for something to jump out. It might be a word, it might be a sentence, it might be a scene, right? Something to jump out of us that we then take into contemplation. And we can start with a little conversation with God. You know, I think this is what uh, you're trying to tell me through this scene or paragraph that's jumped out at me um, and this is what it might relate to and then we sort of go finally go into a very silent contemplation St Benedict teaches us that God speaks to us in a small still voice which can only be heard with the ear of the heart and so silence is very important especially in a busy noisy world so there are lots of uh, apps and, and uh, instructions on Lexio Divini. You can find it everywhere. Jeff Cavins on the Jeff Cavins show has, uh, has talked about Lexio Divina. So there's a good resource, also Catholic Answers. So uh, lots and, and lots of ways to find out more about Lexio Divina. Next on the hierarchy of prayer is the devotional prayers. And of course, there is one devotional prayer that sits right at the top, almost in its own category. And of course, we're going to be praying that very shortly. It is the rosary, the queen of devotions. All right, so that's right at the top. And then finally, the last level is extemporaneous prayer or prayer in our own words. And the idea with the hierarchy of prayer is that the more we practice the higher levels, the more that last level, that extemporaneous prayer, becomes godlike. So prayer in our own words now becomes, you know, our own uh, sentiments and feelings, but being expressed through the Psalms, right? Or through the mysteries of the rosary or through the mass, maybe the collect of the day or the preface uh, of the mass, something like that. So the better we get at these higher levels, right, the, the more informed our devotional and extemporaneous prayer becomes. And of course, that then just leads us straight back to liturgy, the source and summit, right, where and the Eucharist, ultimately. Now, in saying all that, all right, if you are uh, the sort of person who uh, can pray the rosary, and just contemplate the mysteries like nothing else, uh, you know, and, um, but you, you really don't get a lot out of the, the divine office, the liturgy of the hours, then keep doing that, okay? <laughs> because overriding these four levels of the hierarchy are the, are the three stages of the interior life that many of the saints have taught. And in our times, we are blessed with uh, a very wonderful man named Matthew Leonard, 
who actually has an apostolate called the Science of Sainthood at Next Level Catholic Academy. So check out the Science of Sainthood. It, there literally is a science to it. There's a method to sainthood. And Matt Leonard is an expert on some of the spiritual masters, and, and he shares what he has learned over the years uh, to help you enter more fully into the interior life. And of course, the three stages, as taught to us by many saints, are first and foremost, the purgative way, then the illuminative way or illative way, and finally the unitive way. And so if you want to find out more about that, uh, here in Australia, we actually have uh, Matt Leonard's talk on the three stages of the interior life on CD. So that's definitely worth checking out. But anyone can go to the Science of Sainthood and, and sign up. In fact, we always include an ad at the bottom of our posts for the Science of Sainthood. And you can go and join for, um, for a couple of weeks free uh, so you can check it out and see what it's all about. But I highly recommend it to everyone. So that is the, the hierarchy of prayer and uh, very briefly, the three stages of the interior life. All right, so go and check it out. Learn more about it because prayer is very important. Well, that's about enough I have to say on that subject for now. There's a lot that could be said, but uh, for now, now that we've talked about prayer, we're going to move into our prayer for the day. And uh, when it comes to myself, of course, you're going to get the rosary chanted. Now, this is in a recto tonal chant, which is just a, a single tone with very little variation. And uh, I, I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually kind of glad that uh, that I didn't have a guest today because um, my favourite mysteries are the glorious mysteries. Um, I've already explained uh, how I have a bit of a connection to Fatima, uh, an incredible coincidence with myself and both of my children being born and baptized on Fatima dates. Uh, so I, I have discovered a, a devotion to Our Lady and I like to do a consecration to Our Lady using St. Louis de Montfort's method. And I do that as, uh, you know, once a year as often as I can. And I like to, to consecrate on the Feast of the Queenship of Mary. I don't know why, really, I chose that date. Uh, I love the idea of having a queen in heaven who is also my mother and my primary intercessor. You know, that's the, the, the old uh, Jewish kingdom's title for the queen, who was, of course, the mother, all right? Not, you know, random, any one of Solomon's, you know, wives or, or um, concubines, but his mother was the queen and one of her titles was the intercessor of the people. So I love that Mary is in heaven as my queen, my mother and my intercessor. And so I chose to uh, consecrate on the queenship of Mary. Um, I found out later after the consecration, what an incredible coincidence it was. And I realized that I was mo most likely inspired to consecrate on that feast day. Because those of you who have heard my testimony know that uh, after I left the church, I used scientism as my excuse for why the church was wrong and I could do whatever I wanted. Uh, scientism is, of course, the idea that the only knowledge that we can you know, truly rely on is that which can be gained by the scientific method. And the day my scientism was smashed was the day that I witnessed my grandfather die. I was there for the very moment of his death. And what I witnessed was so other, so ineffable, so indescribable. Uh, you know, this moment when my grandfather went from a living, breathing human being to just a body going through the biological processes of death, there was this moment where something happened that I couldn't describe. And I certainly could not conduct an experiment, right, to understand what had happened using the scientific method. And I found out um, after my consecration that my grandfather's death was in fact the queenship of Mary, the 22nd of August. So um, I absolutely love doing the glorious mysteries uh, because, you know, because of that last, last of the glorious mysteries, the coronation of Our Lady, Queen of Heaven and Earth, of angels and of men. So let's get started with our rosary now. And as I always, as it's quite nerve wracking to pray in front of the camera, I will use a visual cue. So <clears throat> better wet my lips first and foremost. All right. 
In nomine patris et fini et spiritus sancti. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Pater noster qui es in celis sanctificetum nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cello et in terra, panem nostrum quotidianum de nobis hodie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, Sed libera nos amalo. Amen. For the increase of faith, blessed Mother of Mount Carmel, ora pro nobis. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. For the increase of hope, Our Lady, help of Christians, ora pro nobis. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For the increase of charity, Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, ora pro nobis. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. O Jesus, it is for the love of thee, in a reparation for the offences committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary, and for the conversion of poor sinners that we pray this rosary. Amen. We also pray this rosary for an end to the COVID-19 pandemic, an end to lockdowns, and for freedom to practice our Catholic faith and to worship Almighty God with our churches open. Amen. We pray this rosary also for world peace, and for the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Finally, we pray this rosary for all the personal intentions of all those praying with us. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, I adore thee. My God, my God, I love thee in the most blessed sacrament. Amen. 
On Wednesdays we contemplate the glorious mysteries. The first of the glorious mysteries is the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Pater noster qui es in celis sanctificet unomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, Sicut in cello et in terra, panem nostrum quotidianum de nobis hodie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos malo. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum, Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, Peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum, Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum, Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum, Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, 
et in secula seculorum. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. Amen. The second of the joyful myst of the glorious mysteries is the ascension of Jesus into heaven. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 
Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. Amen. The third of the glorious mysteries is the descent of the Holy Spirit. Pater noster qui es in celis sanctificet unomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sigut in cello et in terra, panem nostrum quotidianum de nobis hodie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, Sed libera nos amalo. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei ora pro nobis peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum, Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei ora pro nobis, Peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei ora pro nobis. Peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum, Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus, 
Sancta Maria Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. Amen. The fourth of the glorious mysteries is the assumption of Our Lady, body and soul, into heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. Amen. The fifth of the glorious mysteries is the coronation of Our Lady, Queen of heaven and earth, Queen of angels and of men. Pater nostra quies in celis sanctificet nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cello et in terra, panem nostrum quotidianum de nobis hodie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, Sed libera nos amalo. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. 
Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love Thee. Amen. O Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I adore Thee profoundly. I offer Thee the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ present in all the tabernacles of the world, in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifferences whereby he is offended, and through the infinite merits of his most sacred heart, in union with the immaculate heart of Mary, I beg thee the conversion of poor sinners. Amen. Mary, Queen of the Holy Rosary, ora pro nobis. Mary, Queen of Peace, ora pro nobis. Mary, our loving Mother, ora pro nobis. Saint Joseph, Head of the Holy Family, ora pro nobis. Saint Joseph, patron and protector of the universal church, ora pro nobis. Saint Joseph, terror of demons, ora pro nobis. O ye holy saints and all ye holy souls, ora pro nobis. Pray, dear saints, that we may increase in the theological virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Pray, dear saints, that we may increase in all of the virtues. Pray, dear saints, that we may increase in the fruits of the Holy Spirit. And pray, dear saints, that if it be truly good for our souls and for God's holy Catholic and apostolic church, that we may receive in abundance the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. 
To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this vale of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Oremus, O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries in the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And now we pray for all the holy intentions of the Holy Father. Pater Noster, qui es in celis sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cello et in terra, panem nostrum quotidianum de nobis hodie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos amalo. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesu. Sancta Maria Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti, Amen. Thank you all very much uh, for uh, allowing me to lead you in the rosary today. And uh, if that's the first experience of a rectotonal chanted rosary, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so as I said, to, uh, to find out more about why I chant the rosary, I go back to the very first uh, rosary that I did for you guys, um, which is one of the previous recordings. All right, so now, I'll put on my other glasses so I can better read right from the glories of St. Joseph. And uh, once more, um, a big shout out uh, to the monks in uh, at the, the Abbey of St. Joseph de Clairvaux in Flavigny, France, who have given us permission to read uh, this book for you free. So we are on the eighth day, the mysteries of St. Joseph. The mysteries of St. Joseph emerge from the holy infancy and rise like a cloud of incense. He belongs entirely to that period, except for this, we know nothing about him. It seems that this is the only purpose for which God created him and adorned him with such wonderful holiness, the only task assigned to him. He remains apart from the passion altogether, nor does it cast upon him the shadows which it spreads in advance over the mother of sorrows. Indeed, even before Jesus had left the holy house in Nazareth to begin his public ministry, Joseph had gone to meet his ancestors. Consumed by the flame of divine love, he died in a sweet ecstasy, leaning on Jesus's bosom with Mary at his side and in short, in the presence of all that was most beautiful, most holy, most heavenly on the face of the earth. His childhood is lost in obscurity. 
But who can doubt that all was disposed so as to be a fitting preparation for the high honour which God was to confer on him? Who can doubt that it was designed to give him the formation and consecration that befitted the foster father of the word made flesh? Since he belongs solely to the holy infancy, it is not surprising to find that the spirit of devotion towards St. Joseph is the same as the spirit of devotion towards the child Jesus, but in circumstances which make it still more touching. In the first place, it is through Joseph that we are present in the stable in Bethlehem, during the sojourn in Egypt and in the house of Nazareth. All that intimate familiarity to which the infant saviour deigns to give us a right by his incarnation, all those small services which he condescends to receive from our love and devotion, all the joy and serenity that fill our hearts at the sight of his infant weakness, finally, all the adoration mingled with fear that the presence of his divinity imposes on us all, all these things Joseph is there to receive or to render, to feel or to show, as it were, in our name. He is there as the representative of all the generations of faithful to come, especially those whose hearts are drawn with a special attraction towards the first mysteries of Jesus. St. Joseph is in Bethlehem, in Egypt, in the desert, and in Nazareth, like the shadow of the Eternal Father. It is this which constitutes his sublime dignity. The incommunicable and forever blessed paternity of God is transmitted to him in a figurative way. He is the foster father of Jesus. In the eyes of the world, he is his true father. He exercises the authority of a father and fulfills the paternal duties of affection and care. Indeed, in his human nature, our Lord is submitted to St. Joseph. He who, in his divine nature, is not inferior to the Father. The ineffable treasures of God, Jesus and Mary, are entrusted to the care of St. Joseph. He is both a treasure himself and the guardian of the treasures of God. He has a special part in the plan of redemption. Like Jesus and Mary, he too has his prototypes, his precursors and his prophets in the Old Testament. He offers God his cooperation in keeping the mystery of the incarnation secret in his capacity as representative of the Eternal Father. He constantly recalls to our minds in his ministry toward the Holy Child the awareness of his divinity. By the tasks that he fulfills, he prevents us from forgetting that Jesus is true God and son of the true God. So even while teaching us the sweetest familiarity towards Jesus, he also teaches us the most profound respect. On the one hand, he encourages us to draw near and to come and kiss the feet of Jesus. On the other, he bids us fall to our knees and worship the newborn eternal one. The Miraculous Spring of Mount Besilon. On June 7, 1660, while Louis XIV, King of France, was at the Spanish frontier to meet the Infanta Marie Therese, the new Queen of France, a shepherd, one Gaspard Richard Destien, in the middle of a scorching day, took refuge with his animals in the shade of the trees of Mount Besilon, in the heart of the department of the Var, in the, cons in the commune of Con uh, Cotignac. He was suffering from thirst, as he has lo had long since drained his flask. Suddenly a man of imposing stature appeared before him, and pointing to a rock said to him, I am Joseph. Lift this rock and you shall drink. Gaspard estimated from its appearance the weight of the enormous rock and replied simply, I won't be able to, it's far too heavy. But the mysterious visitor repeated this order. Then the shepherd approached and to his great astonishment, overturned the rock at his first try. Another surprise, clear water began to gush out from the spot. 
Gaspard threw himself upon the water as it flowed and drank eagerly. When he raised himself up to express both his astonishment and his gratitude, the man had vanished. The shepherd ran to give the news to the village, when naturally nobody was willing to believe him. But in the end, some of the people decided to follow him to the place where everybody knew there would be no spring. On their arrival, they shouted with joy, for the water was flowing in plenty and had already been doing so for three hours. Everyone observed that the rock which Gaspard had shifted so easily by himself only moved with the combined efforts of eight men. Then it was that Gaspard became aware of the power given him from heaven and cried, it was St. Joseph who was there. It is certainly he who gave me the power to do it. All followed his example, threw themselves on their knees and gave thanks to St. Joseph. Afterwards, the cures obtained by applying this miraculous water drew crowds to Mount Bessilon. The devotion to St. Joseph, hitherto non-existent in that region, took on an extraordinary expansion and very quickly spread beyond Provence. With the gifts that the pilgrims placed near the spring or sent to the inhabitants of Cottignac, the elders of the village decided with the approval of the Bishop of Freyus to build over the spring a chapel in honor of St. Joseph. Little time elapsed before these facts became known as far away as Paris, where the name of Cotignac was uh, has remained significant since the time of Louis the Thirteenth's vow. Then took place the pious deed of Louis the Fourteenth on behalf of Saint Joseph, probably struck by the mysterious coincidence between his entering uh, France from Spain with her whom he was to marry two days later, and the apparition of Saint Joseph at Cognac. The king, who already owed his very existence to Our Lady of Graces, could only agree to the joint entreaty of his mother and his wife, and decree that henceforward the Feast of St. Joseph would be observed as a public holiday throughout the kingdom. Then on March 19, 1661, the king consecrated France to St. Joseph, as his father had consecrated it to Mary 23 years earlier. Countless are all the graces gained through the intercession of St. Joseph, especially in favor of married couples who, wishing to see their home gladdened by the presence of a child, address themselves to him with confidence and ask him to grant them the grace of fertility. St. Joseph. Hail, Holy Joseph, hail, husband of Mary, hail chaste as the lily flower in Eden's peaceful vale. Hail, Holy Joseph, hail, Father of Christ esteemed. Father, be thou to those thy foster son redeemed. Hail, Holy Joseph, hail, Prince of the house of God. May his blessed graces be by thy pure hands bestowed. Hail, Holy Joseph, hail, Comrade of angels, hail. Cheer thou the hearts that faint, and guide the steps that fail. Hail, Holy Joseph, hail, God's choice wert thou alone. To thee the word made flesh was subject as a son. Mother of Jesus, bless, and bless ye saints on high, all meek and simple souls that to Saint Joseph cry. Amen. So that's our reading for again for today and uh, apologies to all those listening and especially the monks at Flavigny for uh, for any mispronunciation of the French. It's definitely not a language I know. <laughs> all right, so we will now move on to our consecration prayer for the day. And as always, I remind you those doing the consecration, uh, your homework is the readings All right, from the book Consecration to St. Joseph by Father Donald Calloway. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. 
God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Noble offspring of David, pray for us. Light of patriarchs, pray for us. Spouse of the mother of God, pray for us. Chaste guardian of the Virgin, pray for us. Foster father of the Son of God, pray for us. Zealous defender of Christ, pray for us. Head of the Holy Family, pray for us. Joseph most just, pray for us. Joseph most chaste, pray for us. Joseph most prudent, pray for us. Joseph most courageous, pray for us. Joseph most obedient, pray for us. Joseph most faithful, pray for us. Mirror of patience, pray for us. Lover of poverty, pray for us. Model of workmen, pray for us. Glory of domestic life, pray for us. Guardian of virgins, pray for us. Pillar of families, pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted, pray for us. Hope of the sick, pray for us. Patron of the dying, pray for us. Terror of demons, pray for us. Protector of the Holy Church, pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. He has made him Lord of his household and Prince over all his possessions. Let us pray. O God, who in your loving providence chose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother, grant us the favor of having him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. All right, thank you everyone who has uh, joined us uh, for the consecration and for those listening to the recording. Uh, it's not quite over though, because uh, as many of the participants have learned, um, I become a Benedictine Oblate. And uh, when I was preparing to become a Benedictine Oblate, I found myself reading the, the, the Psalms, as you do with the Liturgy of the Hours, in a kind of a, a metric or almost a lilt. And when I shared this with uh, Father Ronan Kilgannon in Kangaroo Valley, a, a diocesan hermit of the Diocese of Wollongong, um, uh, he marched me into the church because he was helping me and encouraging me to prepare to become an oblate and continues uh, to help and encourage me. Uh, and he taught me a simple tone. And, uh, and, and so I've started chanting uh, my rosary. And this is the, the same um, chant and the same hour that you will get if you turn up to mass nice and early in kangaroo valley it's uh sext or sixth hour and since many of you have asked for it then i i'm going to finish off today's recording with a chanting of sext from this day now this is uh not you know how it's supposed to be done okay this is like a first step uh, um, I am in the middle of organizing a project where I am going to get a chant teacher to teach me to chant uh, all, you know, Lords and Vespers from all 28 days of the cycle uh, based on the Gregorian chants. So that's yet to come. So don't, uh, don't write us letters and say, uh, you know, Matthew's not doing the divine office properly. We know this is a starting point, a starting point alone. All right. So. By the way, the um, the program I'm using or the, the the app on my phone is called Universalis. All right, so just go to uh, about today. It is Wednesday of week 30 in ordinary time. It is year B and it is Psalm week two. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti, Amen. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, 
world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Lord God and Maker of all things, creation is upheld by you. While all must change and no decay, you are unchanging, always new. You are man's solace and his shield, his rock secured on which to build. You are the Spirit's tranquil home, in you alone is hope fulfilled. To God the Father and the Son and Holy Spirit render praise. Blessed Trinity from age to age, the strength of all our living days. <coughs> I have pondered over my way and returned to your will. <clears throat> My part I have resolved, O Lord, is to obey your word. With all my heart I implore your favor, show the mercy of your promise. I have pondered over my ways, and returned to your will. I made haste and did not delay to obey your commands. Though the net nets of the wicked ensnared me, I remembered your law. At midnight I will rise and thank you for your just decrees. I am friend of all who revere you, who obey your precepts. Lord, your love fills the earth, teach me your statutes. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I have pondered over my ways and returned to your will. Trembling and fear fell upon me. Turn to me, Lord, and listen to my cry. <laughs> O oh God, listen to my prayer, do not hide from my pleading. Attend to me and reply, with my cares I cannot resist. I tremble at the shouts of the foe, at the cries of the wicked. For they bring down evil upon me, they assail me with fury. My heart is stricken within me, death's terror is on me. Trembling and fear fall upon me, and horror overwhelms me. Oh, that I had wings like a dove, to fly away and be at rest. So I would escape far away, and take refuge in the desert. I would hasten to find a shelter from the raging wind, from the destructive storm, O Lord, and from their plotting tongues. For I can see nothing but violence and strife in the city. Night and day they patrol high on the city walls. It is full of wickedness and evil. It is full of sin. Its streets are never free from tyranny and deceit. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Trembling and fearful upon me, turn to me, Lord, and listen to my cry. I will cry to God, and the Lord will save me. If this had been done by an enemy, I could bear his taunts. If a rival had risen against me, I could hide from him. But it is you, my own companion, my intimate friend. How close was the friendship between us. We walked together in harmony in the house of God. As for me, I will cry to God, and the Lord will save me. Evening, morning, and at noon, I will cry and lament. He will deliver my soul in peace in the attack against me. For those who fight me are many, but he hears my voice. God will hear and will humble them, the eternal judge. For they will not amend their ways, they have no fear of God. The traitor has turned against his friends. He has broken his word. His speech is softer than butter, but war is in his heart. His words are smoother than oil, but they are naked swords. Entrust your cares to the Lord, and he will support you. He will never allow the just man to stumble. But you, O God, will bring them down to the pit of death. Deceitful and bloodthirsty men shall not live half their days. O Lord, I will trust in you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I will cry to God, and the Lord will save me. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. My thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways, not your ways. It is the Lord who speaks. Yes, the heavens are as high above earth as my ways are above your ways. My thoughts above your thoughts. Lord God Almighty, who is your equal? You are a mighty Lord and truth is your garment. Oremus. God of power and love, look kindly on the tasks we have begun, and at this midday hour renew your grace within us. Make good our defects, and bring our work to that fulfillment which accords with your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. 
once again, thank you very much for indulging me. I know it's been a long one today. Uh, I, that's why I wanted to do the normal stuff first before giving you a little taste of the liturgy of the hours. And I hope very soon to be getting started on that chant project so that uh, we can start to teach more people to chant. But you can use that tone to pray the entire divine office. And it's a great way to getting started in chant. You can, of course, pray the liturgy of the hours in a rectotonal chant. So that's the same, you know, monotone the way I did the chanted rosary. So uh, all stuff that you can practice, get your voices ready uh, for the chant lessons that are hopefully coming very soon. But that is enough from me today. So uh, thank you all very much for joining me. Farewell and may God bless you all richly through the intercession of St. Joseph. Amen.